Fagan, the one seed, has elected to let Belmonte begin. There's that shot of Randy Peterson in the background. Do you see it right there, the fan? I'm trying not to That's see it. That's awesome. Belmonte taking, taking his time. Slow start, fast finish in the semifinals. 245-236 win over Bill O'Neill. Twenty-eight-year-old Michael Fagan from Patchogue, New York, here on Long Island, has one tour title, but it's a doubles. And I think that's the first time today that we've seen a ball not hook on the right lane. Just a little too deep for Michael Fagan, and that ball just finishes way late, leaving the 210. He was worried about the lane conditions coming in with the high rev rates of Robert Smith and Belmonte and what they would do. Good attempt. Bowling for the title, his first singles. Does get the 10 to kick there, so that's the first good break, but don't do it. A nice smooth release. Again, a two-handed style from Belmonte. It's okay, the 10 got out. It's all right. Left the eight. Two hands, no thumb, cupped wrist, cupped elbow. And even gets a plastic ball to hit good. That's, that's pretty strong. Is he worth the hype? I think he is. I, first of all, I think he's a great kid. He's got a great personality. I think... I think he's a good person, and I think that, uh, I, I know that he's got the talent. I mean, this guy can flat ball. There's no other way around it. And what he can do to a bowling ball is, is just amazing. And in talking with him, what do you do when you try to change roll or, um, you know, when you try to throw it harder, slower, softer, you know, rev it up harder, cut back on the rev rate? He says, Randy, I just do it all by feel. You know, I envision the shot that I'm trying to throw. I look at the, the pattern that it makes on the lane, and then I just adjust it throughout the approach. Belmo trying to join that list that we just showed on screen. TPR titleist leaves the 10 pin. And again, the background to why Belmonte bowls with two hands is back home in Orange, New South Wales, Australia. His parents owned a bowling center, so he was obviously there at a young age with the bowling balls too heavy for him. So he essentially would just push them down with two hands and the style continued with him and so now he puts two fingers in no hole for the thumb and releases with two hands and the question is what will he do next season he said short-term goal bowl two great games here and then the u.s open and sit down with the missus spagan drops them off I think he's found it. Oh. Competition's stronger here, and I was getting a little complacent bowling overseas. That's better. And we bowl a lot more games over here as well, and that, that was another big difference. Again, Jason Belmonte's goal is to be over here bowling full-time on this tour. And with a win today, he will earn a one-year exemption. Way wide right. Oof. Yeah, that's the high hard one piped right at the one three again. And... Carry, carry. Oh, really? We're entering the pins at. <laughs> 
It's a heck of a spare conversion right there. But He's only down 23, but time becoming a factor. And he needs some strikes and is just not getting them. Pretty high rev rates beating these patterns up. Now, granted, he does get practice. Again, he grew up playing here, worked here. He said back in the day, back in the late 90s, after league play on Monday nights, he, a buddy, and Patrick Allen would stay till about just three or shot. four in the morning, practicing. I mean, where are you throwing it? Staying up late on the island, sucking out some White Castles. Love it. Nice shot. So another spare conversion. Chris Barnes, Norm Duke, the only two who may be able to eclipse him. Belmonte in the eight. Looks sweet. Tall order for Michael Fagan at this juncture. Jason Belmonte firmly in control. Yes! And that might just seal the deal right there for Jason Belmonte. On his first televised show, Fagan, your one seed. Finish strong, Michael. Just his fourth strike of this title match. Got a chance. Three in a row. Get him off. And the local boy closes with the four bagger. He'll take a seat. And his good friend Jason Belmonte steps up. 201 in the books for Fagan. Nine pins needed for the two seed for his first PBA Tour title. One of your best. That was one of your best. That's one of your best. Nine is good enough. And congratulations to Jason Belmonte. As he is locked up his first career PBA Tour title. Beating Michael Fagan here in Long Island. So much hype about the 25-year-old from Australia. So much press between the papers. Yes! And television. Yes! And a win to back it up. Thank you, man. Oh, my beautiful. His wife, Kimberly, it's a victory kiss. You have no idea how good this feels. Fifteen to two oh one. Belmonte brings the crowd to their feet.